So hello then, welcome to another match day vlog. I'm off to Lamb Street. Because I go to Winterfish United, double header, Winterfish United. As they're playing against I've got the player, but then I've got in North, which afterwards we've got a game as well. But double header, two separate vlogs. Belter. I didn't realise I brought this cap last year. And I've just left it in mine. So <laughs> not really worn, so I've got it on now anyway. It's warm today, thank God. First day's been warm in a while. It's been raining off and on again, no surprise. Will it rain today? I don't know, but I brought my coat because I don't, I don't want to take a risk. Now it floods it down, but yeah. Before she gets the smart look on me again, I don't know why. So why not, really? Why not, Mr. Magoo? So yeah, I'm gonna make this bus, hopefully, anyway. Loads of delays. If we can make the 33 minutes past train at Lamb Street, then that's a fucking bonus. But if I don't, then there's no disaster. I'll stop off that crew. I'll walk over to Tesco then quick. But again, that just varies on what side this bus gets there, because this bus. I uh, meant to be getting to get to Queen Square now. It's 20 past 10, but. So I'll have a delay, so I'm delayed as well. I always act late. Because I think I'm late for this bus anyway, myself. Fucking being late for a delayed bus. It's not like me, is it? However, if I don't make this train, or the two trains, then there's plenty of other options. There's loads of games on today, loads of new grounds, so either just make a single game instead of two, it doesn't really matter. Just go into a game with plenty of goals. Fucking, I've seen the season loads. With the driver. We've got his bus leaving soon. Yes! Come on. Get a few good, you get a few bad bus drivers, but this bus driver's a bit boozy, and he can put up. Right, with all the city centre buses got me here. Why? <laughs> Obviously, you'll get me here, but like, look at the time. It's what? Fucking 22 minutes past the train to 33. Smashing now. And if I want to get some scram, which I do. In fact, I'll wait, I'll win It's only a half an hour train journey. And there's loads of places near there. And I've got some room, so. I might need to use my brains a little bit, but yeah. Let's just get to Lamb Street then. Because obviously I want to cover grounds, you know what I mean? Like, I want to do file because I've not done that many up by Blackpool area. I've done Preston, I've done Longridge. And I've done Blackpool, obviously, but I was going to say Blackburn and Burnley and all that, but they're a bit further out on the map. But similar to this one, if I go to this one and I've take this one off, got the option for a double header here. I'll go to win for game. Then and then maybe, I don't know, <laughs> try and get the sandbach from there for the three o'clock game against Bersco. Take off sandbach grounds and see if Hildich is there, see if he looks down. But nah, we have a lot. Like, double header at Winterford sounds good, though. Yeah, there'll be other grounds. And there'll be other opportunities to do that on the ground as well. Especially, you know, a Saturday 3 o'clock games ago too recently and all that. They're not bad at all. I just can't believe yesterday's fucking <laughs> bonkers. Like, yeah, going to fucking files that are out that Wigan and the trespass is stopping me from going to a 3-1 game. So I'm going to a 7-1 game. How nice. <laughs> really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yellow yeah, Black's game was 7 1, but it was a very good game to be fair in a way. First half was a bit slow, so it was the second half was a bit scrappy in you know, that game yesterday, but still decent, weren't it? Here we go, then, now I'm shooting this. <laughs> Love it. Don't understand, so that's been wins for Shane, I've done it again. Yep, that's my joy, thank you. Fucking is he though, I am. I've got on the wrong platform, but why do the tickets let you fucking scan it on platforms one to five if it's the wrong fucking platform? I don't understand, but it is what it is. I mean, I'm here now. I realised last minute, I was like, where the fuck platform six? Oh, it's not here. There we are. Two shades of decent thing, no? Oh, on the chain. Need it in the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid to see for a minute, but I realised. It wasn't like I went to fucking Creevy Burnley when I fucking realised too late. I was running like myself, but 
I even if they did go back to the shoot. He was only training by fucking Manchester services, so only too bad, but yeah, um, surprise the bus got me here this early to be fair. <laughs> Jumped on it or something, aren't right? mm. Is this leaving now? Yes. Yeah. He said thank you, but he just looked at me as if I had two heads. Are you fucking dead? Thanks for dropping me off. I'm sure I'm just like sometimes. Where's Smackley? Um, Gaunt Bridge, where's that? I don't even know, but. Yeah, this is reality where you go to Winterford, to be honest with you. I miss, you know, the three people I used to go down there with. You know, my uncle Paul, Auntie Sheila, and Auntie Sheila's um, sister, who's my auntie as well, fucking Linda. My Linda used to live there, I used to visit, and I used to go down with my dad and all that there. And it is reality how cruel life is because, yeah, I missed, I missed, I missed all freedom. The lovely people. I just can't remember. Anyway, yeah, uh, fucking it's reality, but anyway, yeah, uh, fucking we went to Switzerland a year ago today, and it's madness that it's been a year since. I want to go abroad again soon, which you know, figures looking forward for me a little bit at the moment with the job. So get out, make the money, and enjoy myself while I'm doing it. Yeah, smash it. You go abroad again, do a few vlogs for you there. Thanks for really missing you without this boss. Tesco Recycling Centre. Whoa. Yeah, um, we're in Rome Corner anyway. That's why I said. I mean, Smethwick Beach, because I know it's somewhere in the Midlands. Like, surely that's not the next stop, but it's obviously not. The machine's broke. Because it says the next train's to Landry's. Uh, yeah, definitely. How can a platform not be long enough for a train? It's mad that, but anyway, yeah, I had to move a bit further forward. Hopefully I'm on the right side because I was at Acton Bridge where the station's called and fucking, yeah, looked out. I was just bang on in the middle of a fucking train track, so I was like, oh fucking hell, walk up this carriage. <laughs> Hope it doesn't think anything bad of it because it wasn't avoiding anyone. But yeah, I am. Not long to go. Why the fuck's the platform so small? Going through half the fucking street. And the platform's this tiny. What on earth? Okay, there's more stuff than fucking angry flanks here. Jesus Christ. So, here we go down here then. By how much would the train be Stafford? Who knows? Because I'm just trying to, you know, do grounds outside the northwest because I've done that many there. I just sort out grounds all around England really and anyway yeah fucking I'm asking the YouTube vlog how much fucking train of staff it is when I got fucking trainer donkey yeah um, 20 minute walk to the grounds anyway not too bad then let's have an Asda and I'm a fancy fly through so anyway in the main streams of winter there we go it has to be typical Google Maps, doesn't it? Fucking, what's the name telling me that I'm not allowed to fucking go to the ground because it closes at 6 pm or something? It closes at 6 pm. Well, let's advise you, come to this ground. Well, mate, I know what I'm doing. Shut up, Google Maps. Get some knowledge. Ground a 10 minute walk then. I had anything to be told today, so myself, what's it, and some Japanese Fanta. Didn't know this existed, but it's pineapple flavour, so. Would you really call it pineapple Japanese? I don't know, but let's try it away because never seen it in a bottle. I've seen it in a can, but it'd be nice, surely. I've not been to Winterford in about 10 years. I seem to remember this area, I don't know why. Like the bungalows, the houses, and everything around. I don't know why. I mean, the grounds up there, if you can see the full lights actually, yeah, there they are, the full lights. Yeah, then. Um, come on. Come on, fucking. Anyway. Tell you what, that a Japanese Fanta is so good. Oh my god, like it's I know I've had pineapple Fanta out the can, but this is miles above. It's so nice, like a taste, strong, amazing. Nine out of ten. I remember when I was younger, and I used to think that them goals there used to be real sad goals. Who knows why? Typical of dogs. I can smell some strong meat. Winsford United Football Club. 
Oh, hello, look at this. Like, is this can be tech Newcastle Town? I mean, I've never been to Newcastle Town, but I've heard loads about it. But it's around like a race track type of thing. That's what people say about Newcastle Town. I think Newcastle Town is in Newcastle, but it's in Stoke. I've got that ground planned in a few weeks. Chase the sun's on. So this first game then is Winsford versus North Victoria, the ground share derby. My score prediction for this one, I'm going to go 3-2 to Winsford. Oh no, North is a decent side as well. Second game up. I know to be second vlog. Okay, this is the start of fucking England or something. What a sandstorm, oh my god, get him. Tune this. Bye bye, it's all good, it's all good. What a tune this is. Get him on my Right up in the sky. This first game of the day is kicked off there. Oh, they can have a shot, they're already in the box. Get back up. I need to have a shot now, it's going to I'm actually half a fan of this ground, it's like so unique. I haven't seen a ground like it, like, obviously I've heard, like I said before, Newcastle Towns are a massive something like this, but this is just decent, isn't it? It's not bad. First you go into it, like, what the fuck is this, but then you're like, it's not bad actually. But I was going to... Oh, I've had attempts to stay here to watch the second game or go up to Witten but then I fucked up the train journeys and shit so I can't be asked. I'm gonna stay here anyway because I don't mind the ground. <laughs> but Winston with a positive start. Oh, I It is a positive start, this. I'm going to get sad anyway. Keeps himself on, but it's decent, but it's got defending there. I don't know if it's going to be that in the end because Winsford will press him, he still has. Good cross as well. No one's there, they're fairly really even for. Just going to be in it, but always be there. Yeah, a solid start for Winsford so far. Great tackle, but Winsford is in now. We've even got a few Northwich fans going. Why is that calling us? Fucking the opposition, so. The opposition fans saying that's not a foul. It says not really. I don't know the fuck the problem was there. Keepers made an absolute howler and said the ball go. Again, it shows the goalkeeper's overprotected. That's why I was surprised. Press Statton's first goal against fucking Bowdy didn't they? Surprised that counted. Again. I don't even think that was a foul word either, but like, the game these days. Isn't it? Yes. 
something like that. Fucking more fish kit down, sorry. So is Winston, it's just two decent kits still. Straight across the box there. We use decent team at number 11 there for Murphy. She's made a few tackles already and a few interceptions, so but yeah, not too bad. Finishing flag over there. Fuck that. Throw Davis. Played out there. The game's been a little bit scrappy at times. Not being bad either. Oh, oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Kept himself on the side, all over. Oh, which the defenders have got confused here. Because, like, if you tried to play the offside trap, it was offside. And it's a fantastic lob. The Winsford take the lead. We keep it laughing. We shout his miles off. And if he just asked the linesman and the linesman, we just went play on. I think it was a close one, I do see why they're fucking, you know, complaining it was borderline. You know, never know, it might have been offside, I haven't got the technology here, but it was very much borderline. But Winsford have started better, and Winsford do deserve the lead. But the Vix haven't been too bad either, and I'll tell you what, I've seen Norfolk Victoria quite a lot of times, I get that as hands up. I think I've been to one of the games before, I'm not too sure, but, like, either way. I don't know how to even see him to be fair. Well, that one wasn't off because literally the fucking Victoria player that she headed it onwards, so I don't see how that's offside. If one of the other players has got a fucking touch, but. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it was delivered on off, it's deemed offside. So at these balls forwards, the attack is dangerous. Ended it well later. Oh. It is the first to it again. It's a decent ball out as well. Winfield is doing really well. Unlucky. Everyone's getting stuck in a good header back to the people, but yeah, fucking loads of people just being snappy so the goalkeeper's just got too fussed. But, I mean, it's only friendly, so that's why there's no card, so not too fussed. And Rosie just getting stuck in the yeah, act. Love that. That's what non league's all about. Good defending that to be fair. Strapping back was good. Goes back through. Oh. Oh, okay. Victoria, a little bit of fucking bash on here. I saw the pull the tree there, it would have been danger, but Victoria are doing really well here. Oh, Long throws always cause danger. Havoc in the box. Oh, what a save! That's exactly what it's done there. Cause havoc. It's a great save, though. Winston's almost made it to, but tipped onto the crossbar. Sensation. The weather's gone cold again all of a sudden. Everyone loves a tackle in this game, don't they? Oh. 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 But wins for the first. I think at the moment. Ball again. Oh, it's a shot the first time. Oh, well, it's here the way this game's come. Winsford should have been about 3 4 and look now. We've had a goal, which is very good. Nice finish. We've had two chances where the wrist kicked it in the box and then a fantastic save. Northwich haven't been bad either. They could have had a few goals, but 
So I've been impressed with a few of the forward passes from Winters. Like, that thing's already played there. And got stuff very good to be fair. Been brilliant, but Winters could have been great. Wolf, which have been decent with as well. Good these players put the pressure on there. They've done a few good passes, but not been too bad so far. Oh, and straight to the opposition player. And, oh. Keeper's got there first and does well. Because he was in them. That could have been too late. It's been an entertaining first half. It's great. It's a good tackle over the course across again. Well, they've been a real danger on the forwards, haven't they, Winters? Victoria have done good defending it. Like, they've had a few sloppy moments, but they've recovered very well. Not only because I don't know about the goal, really, because the pace of the chip is brilliant. But since then, really, the reason why Winsford haven't scored as many is because, you know, Northwich have pressed. A bit like when Northwich are going forward and Winsford are pressing as well. It's just a physical game. It's... Him on the wing of the left for Northwich Victoria. He's a baller and he's causing problems as well. Seems like the best player for Northwich at the moment. I mean, fair to use both for the fucking fan who travels these games. Like, I know it's obviously not far because both play here, but like, still decent ones who come and support the local teams. Like, that's what we love people supporting the local teams. So good. And non league football needs to be recognised a little bit more because to me, it's not recognised enough. Mm. Well, both you can win for it, just kicked him and he was in there. Well, it was cleared out for the corner to Northwich, but Northwich Victoria have grown into this game quite a lot. And they had to really, but decent to the bottom of the corner. I've just realised Northwich Victoria are going to be a joint Rosine team that will come up as the Rosine team because it's the most recent one. Oh, <laughs> hell. Seeing them twice in the day will be the Rosine team. Of the season <laughs> level with Quest at the barn. Oh, he's done right there. <laughs> Two players went forward. Referee Dean is third. He has to be flanged and keeps committing himself again. I think he's been decent. Uh, lucky. Oh, cross was with Nate's slide. Go to the hole, fight the hole, the 50-50 game. The team's having spells. He's got a good throw on. He's a great player, he's getting to some good positions. But uh, so I'm in 1-0 to Winsford and I'll tell you what, Winsford did dominate for quite a bit in the first half. But the last 20 minutes, North which has grown into it quite a lot. And to be fair, both have been just as good as each other. But, yeah, Winsford have took the chance and also they'll have a few more chances. And I'll tell you what, 
hasn't been a bad game at all. So second half's going to. I don't know why I've thought that, but like I always have silly bits like that, but who's fussed? <laughs> Decent game so far. My full time prediction. I might stick with me 3-2 because I've been to the game before. I felt like I back yesterday, which was 2-0 at half time and ended 7-1. I've been to many games. I've had a goal fest in the second half, so let's see if this game's going to be the same. 3-2 prediction, full time. Fucking hell, didn't see this one coming. It's fucking raining again. It's about the fucking 15th day in a row. At about fucking the 30th yeah. time in 31 days. Fucking fantastic. She has all this fucking done this summer. That's all it's done. Constant rain. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Good job I brought me clothes in the end then, but Jesus, I shouldn't have to. Summer so far. Not good enough. But to be fair, I do like this ground. It is nice. If you think about it, it's like so unique. And this angle of the goal here is decent. Might just stand up and watch the second half here, but I'm not too sure. Just get different views of it, isn't it? But not bad. I mean, I have been tempted to go to a few other games, like obviously Witten, but or Sambach, where they're getting back home in it. And I've got my train ticket from Winterford, and it's just better. I'm staying for the second game. Because look, it's belter. I'm enjoying it so far, dear. I'm winning the cafe. Not bad. I mean, I was going to have some scram there, but like, I'm not too sure whether it's cash or card, and the game just kicked off in the second half, and I don't want to miss it. But yeah, so far, so good in the game. And there's a Mackey's a 10 minute walk, and this game should finish at 2. So if I get to the Mackey's, be there for 10 past 2, get me order and walk back up here for 3 o'clock kickoff, and yeah, should be really decent at because it's 2, you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, then. Um, not missing that one, but I don't think I have. <laughs> Decent view, you know. I could tackle. This match is the landlord's Venus Tenants match. Whatever that is, but. <laughs> I saw the wins for the poor anyway on the Twitter, but. Yeah, I've wanted to see Winter for a while now. Got to see them. I'm well, the same at North Richard's audience, to be fair. Oh, ball in. Two touches, ah. Oh. Tracked it too far, yeah, he has. And it's cleared. I think he could have shot that the first time, come to the box and just smashed it straight at goal, but chose not to, and you can see why. But yeah, North Richard have a free kick because one of their players just got snapped. into the ground. No, it's a point. But again the keepers come out, commanded himself, caught the ball very well. I've been impressed with the wins for the keeper. Maybe five goals a game average. Well this game of course is short a little bit but I'm not too fussed. I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Still got the fuck, fuck, I know, 77 goals or something. Mad like that in 14 games. I love it to be fair. I don't fucking, mate, they need to bring this fucking pineapple fans out. In fucking shots, mate. It's unbelievable. And I fucking mean it. Never mind just out of the camp in fucking bottles. Bring these out and as to home bargains. Yeah, they're fucking sales. Oh, that's where I have to go. It's keeping you exactly where it was going as well, mate. In North Richard Grumman to the game ever since the 20th minute I first 20 I think it was dominated a bit by Winterford but it's good when a team gets back into it makes it competitive I'd rather have the 1 0 competitives than fucking the 10 0 game surprisingly that's just because if it's competitive there's just more to it I mean it might sound mad because obviously I love goals and when I go to the goals you're like fucking oh my god fucking Yes, get in a bean to a fucking, let's say, 10-1 like the other week. Oh, yes, get in. But then fucking 
end of the day. The game's okay, like you get the goals, that's all that matters, but it's what actually happens in the gameplay. I mean, even this side of the stadium has a fucking great view as well. To be fair, the rain's already spitting out, so I may as well just stay here for a bit. Found him well as well. Another great tackle. Oh, he's fucking even won himself a throwing from that, I think. What a great... Oh, free kick. I don't know what that was for. We have a second quite a lot now. Both teams are getting up the pitch, but they're all getting tackled. And... Ooh, heaven just fired. Back to the idea, this little stand here. Not bad. <laughs> Got a good view of the pitch. Yeah, this game's gone kind of flat in the last 10 minutes, to be honest with you. Ooh. As soon as I say that, it's already a cut of mine. Ooh. I think both teams are defending really well as soon as one team's in, then the other team come the off and intercept each other, so it's not bad. Goes across, third back. Sad to call play. Well, that's all at my head, the machine nearly touching the top of this. <laughs> Madness, really, but. I mean, there's still chances, but like. It's not been the most exciting of the game. It wasn't. Three guests to promote the club, and then you. Yeah, and you can also take off, so I just like promoting all these clubs like Northwich and Winters. Two decent teams. You know, people could benefit from coming here. They if anyone local sees this, so that's why I do it really. It's a great safe. That's Winsford on the corner. Corners in or to be honest, I can see this end of one nil now. At the moment, it's not one of them second last where it's high scoring, but again, it's competitive, and that's what I like about it, you know what I mean? So, you want really a competitive game. Rather than just being one sided, it would depend. If it's Everton, it'd rather be one sided than Everton win. Press that as well, the push, but not really fucking any other game. Just like these type of neutral games is just fucking close fucking fights in each other. And obviously, when I say fighting, you know what I mean? Both teams having a fair game, playing as good as each other, rather than being boring. Like, yeah. So, I reckon it could be a little bit more in this, like, still plenty of time. I know, I call him as well. So, okay to flick that out. But, yeah, you've got both teams fucking coming out. Literally. Both teams are that eager that both of them are literally so close to ball every time the ball's there. This has been doing really getting pinged about. Foul on free kick as well. It's again got loads of power on, surveyed everyone. Mm. Northwich are winning a few corners here. Looking a little dangerous. In the box, oh. oh, oh, kicked off. Says last. Hands on in moment. Possession 50 50 because one team has it one minute, the next team have the next. Just like that. Well, he's just being kicked in the face. I'm surprised that wasn't even as a foul, but. And someone just slide tackled and gave away a free kick, which in it was a free kick to slide tackle as well, but that could have easily been a penalty. But if I would have sicked off Squiresgate, I would have continued the five goals a game regime, 
the Squires Gate are losing 5 1 against Staley Bridge Celtic. Josh Corliss, the one from the world of one city, scoring goals as well. But nah, I'm a fuss. I like it. I've had Drummy Day here and it's been a good game. Like I said, this one's got a bit of fight to it from both teams. So, and this is not unlike for those one side of the matches. But I reckon it could be one more goal on this. Who knows? <laughs> Tried to clear it out, but he still conceded the corner. It's a great corner headed on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's about to hold him off the way he did there, the wings for the player. Good ball up. Ooh. Nice lad, up away. No, that's it, I don't. <laughs> well, full time in game number one then. Okay, it's 1 0 to Winsford, <laughs> who I'd say deserved winners there because they took the chance and also they had a few more chances that they could have taken, but I think they were. Slightly the better team today, but Northwich Victoria gave it a good go, and yeah, was solid in the end defending it because yeah, it wasn't for them keeping the game a little bit more compact. The game would have been open, and Winterford doing the one by one, wasn't he? But yeah, one nil full time first game. So <laughs> well, the average goals probably gone down a little bit, but to be fair, it was about time. We've been to loads of fucking games with goals, and so not bad. I enjoyed this game to be fair. So I'd like to thank Winsford for on a good show. The same goes with Norfolk Victoria. Who have another game coming up next. Which you'll see in a minute. So yeah, I enjoyed it. I really did. Despite the fact that it was one, there was quite average the sound because I've just got a headache. You know what I mean? But yeah. It was good. Good to take off on the new ground and yeah. Get it to the Jesus Christ, this bog's a bit fucking tight for space in it. Jesus Christ. So this is where we vlog in a minute, walking up to Mackey's, and yes, I know I had the same obsessed person comment a few times on my posts a few weeks ago about me going to Mackey's. On the video that he commented, I never went. On the other video, I had six nuggets. Criminal lot. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> walking up to say those, gonna get to Mackey's, gonna get myself some scram. I'm hungry. Oh, that is a packet of fucking crisp in this. And pineapple drink. And yeah, we'll smash it. But yeah, I um, think I remember this road very well. I, it was just a massive eight roads. I don't know why I'm from the Anton Linders about fucking ten years ago. Fucking, we broke down in a fucking hard shoulder. And yeah, my dad had to stay there all night. But at the banging incident, however, it wasn't with the tyres. And fucking, meanwhile, we all busy stayed. And got a lift back home, me and Div. I'm not going to name the other person because, yeah, not going to fucking mention. We had him. Mackie's just on the corner. Let's see, there we have it. Mackie D's. I was fighting over them yet, whether to get a fucking steak later. I mean, I'm not going to get both because that's a bit too fat and for me. But what I might do is just go in here and get a Mackie's now, the chicken select. And then, on the way home, there's an Asda, oh, why am I walking? Well, shit, I was, can't go for it, see that back, surely. But yeah, then, go to Asda, get some fucking cheesy wiggles or something to eat on the way back, and have a, a drink from there. The Asda's not too far, I don't think, so, yeah. Little chef on the way back, but, at the moment, it's a busy Mackie D's in there, actually. So. Fancy a double quarter pounder, so I got double quarter pounder chips. The Mackie's chips have been alright recently. And Oasis and with Mackie's points, there's a big match, so might as well get back. So I'm not gonna have any much to even like two, three, four hours. So yeah. So if you've all enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, like, just and subscribe. That'd be brilliant as well. These are all fucking legends. Appreciate every one of you, and I love the way Winfrey is doing a double letter. I really, really like that. So have a good one.